two, one. In your face, all over the place. We're online, 24-7, 24-7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. From beautiful Saline in southeastern Michigan. Around the world at sunskymysteries.com. This is the 2009 Top 10 Webcam World Winner. This is S-E-T-V. Well, good evening, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to another exciting episode of Surrounded by Idiots. I just noticed I had my hat on, and I had to kill it. <clears throat> or get it off my head. You can pick whichever vernacular you would like. Um, we're just going to do a short show tonight. I'm just going to have a couple of things to uh, mention. First of all, our guest tomorrow night is a guy by the name of Guy Smith. He is a Second Amendment expert, and his books are frequently cited in Congress, in court cases, and by the National Rifle Association. So, we are going to have him on there, and I have a little bit of information about the gentleman in question that uh, is going to be on the show. Hold on a minute while I go back to the beginning of the book. I have it up on our Kindle application. Let's go right on back up here. You can tell that I am extremely prepared for tonight's show. Isn't that great? Uh, this will not be the case tomorrow night when uh, Mr. Smith is on. I only decided just a little while ago to do this show the uh let me see here the uh i'll read a part of the forward of the book by uh, brian patrick in earlier centuries guy smith would have been designated a heretic and condemned to burn at the stake unless of course he recanted but after reading his book and having met the author author i don't believe him the recanting type in any case shooting the bull that's the name of the book. You'll see a link to the page at Amazon that the book is on, at, uh, on all of our pages. Would certainly have been placed on the list of forbidden books. The man is a, um, his writing style is absolutely incredible. I will tell you that right now. Let me, um, let me see. Um, here's a uh, paragraph from his book from the first chapter about Nancy Pelosi. While preaching the demerits of so-called assault weapons, Diane Feinstein, actually this is about Diane Feinstein, my mistake. While preaching the demerits of so-called assault weapons, Diane Feinstein, known to friends and supporters as DiFi and to political enemies as Die Friendly, hoisted an AK-47 to her hip and with her finger on the trigger, swept its muzzle across the crowded room like a stormtrooper during clearing a Berlin ghetto. Audible gasps escaped from even battle-hardened yet suddenly sober reporters who, despite their chronic ignorance concerning firearms, understood two things with perfect clarity. First, it is never a good idea to be at the exit end of a rifle's barrel, and second, Senator Feinstein was insane. And that's just one paragraph from this book. We are going to be talking to him about this book tomorrow night. His name is Guy Smith. The show comes on 7 p.m. Eastern. Now, this particular episode is probably not going to make it to YouTube for a few days because we want to let the uproar die down. Also, we're going to be talking about a fellow Michigan resident, a one Michael Moore, for uh, some time. And he is referred to frequently in the book. So we're going to be going after his fat, worthless ass tomorrow night. And 
we're also going to be talking about how people are attempting to subjugate the Second Amendment. Now tonight, I have a story. Let me see here. This story, and I'm sorry, but I don't have it up on the uh, on the uh, video side for you guys, so sorry. I'll here, hang on. Let me throw up a graphic for you. There you go. There's a uh, nice graphic we made up for the show. You can uh, see that instead of me. No? Okay. There we go. I'm back. All righty. This is called uh, Divine Intervention Section 1, Defeating Financial Tyranny. I thought this would be a uh, good, uh, good article tonight to go over. Our good friend who is going to be coming on in the near future, um, Boris Artemenko, our uh, science advisor, he uh, is going to be coming on the show again in the uh, relatively near future. Let me see if the web browser is going to cooperate. And of course, it's probably not. Not um, The gentleman that... Okay, well, of course. Now that we're on the air, the web browser does not want to cooperate. I said, no, stop it. Okay, well, at any rate, um, I can see part of the web page. Stop the script. Jackass. Anyways, the name of the um, website is divinecosmos.com. And this is a David Wilcock website. And it is uh, part of his website about Divine Cosmos, the book that he wrote, a New York Times bestseller. And his article... Um, and uh, don't start laughing when I read this article because this is uh, serious business and um, this is a serious kind of a guy and he wouldn't just go and put this out willy-nilly so let me read to you the uh, uh, part of this part of this um, um, article the uh, name of the website again is www.divinecosmos.com and uh, that should take you right to the page. Massive, unprecedented ET interventions are completely disrupting any and all plans to start World War III, according to multiple whistleblowers. This and other fascinating developments suggest that 2012 may live up to many prophets' expectations. Now, <clears throat> I personally don't care who the hell is uh, disrupting World War Three. I don't care if it's E.T. I don't care if it's uh, the mole people. And I don't care if it's time travelers coming from the future. The fact is, is that there is no need for World, World War Three. You can stop the Iranians from building their stupid atomic bomb a lot easier than starting a world war. Um, now, he's making a note here that he is updating this web page almost constantly as he gets more information. Negative forces are real and so is the resistance. Whether or not you like it, or whether we like it or not, everyone is now being confronted with evidence that the world is being controlled by powerful, occult, negative forces behind the scenes. If you have already read my book, Financial Tyranny, the full scope of the problem we now face will be much more apparent as you enter into this investigation. Some of it will become clear as you read the first section. So the guy's written a book. That's good. He's uh, mentioning the book. That is perfectly normal. Um, and his statement that uh, the world is being controlled by powerful occult negative forces behind the scenes. We already know this. We've had multiple guests on this show that have told us the exact same thing. Let me uh, check something over here. Okay. 
All right, let's get back to the article. Mass arrests. Now, this has been going around on the conspiracy websites for the past, uh, I don't know, heck, couple of months. And uh, incidentally, we do have the audio side of the show up, too. That's at sunskymysteries.com. And uh, if you're watching um, the video side, you already know where you are. Multiple inside sources, each of whom have been vetted out. And uh, vetting is basically a checking of the background, uh, who they are, what they do, where they come from, um, what type of uh, willy-nilly stuff they've been doing all over the place. So you're basically you're vetting somebody. You're, um, let me look up the uh, actual actual term so that I can get a uh, get you a better uh, explanation of it. Vetting is a process of examination and evaluation generally referring to performing a background check on somebody on someone before offering him or her employment, conferring an award, an addition, an intelligence gathering assets are vetted to determine their usefulness. So in this case the uh, um, intelligence assets um, part of that is in effect. Let's see. Have now confirmed that mass arrests of thousands of key conspirators in this vast cabal, the evil cabal, the evil occult cabal, are about to occur. A highly secretive and highly coordinated operation no, working for the good of humanity is about to make its move. The Pentagon quote-unquote good guys are now in full political and logis logistical cooperation with a remarkable 134-nation alliance to bring the perpetrators to justice and free our planet. Now, I'm going to stop right there. Um, freeing our planet. It's uh, pretty much a catch-all phrase. What exactly do they mean, freeing our planet? Do they mean freeing our planet for a single world government? Do they mean freeing our planet from the financial tyranny? Do they mean freeing our planet so each country can pursue its own sovereign future? That remains to be seen at this point. That seems a rather cloudy explanation right there. The security around this enormous operation has been vast. Even those who will be affected by it and arrested have no idea of the staggering scope of what is about to be revealed before the eyes of the public. So, in other words, Mr. Uh, Fat Cat is sitting there in his living room with his, uh, I'll use my can of beverage here as uh, a prop, sipping his cognac. and popping bonbons in his mouth when all of a sudden there's a knock at the door. And who is it? It's part of this 134 nation um, alliance that's coming to arrest him. Now, the things that I've read on the internet, and I'm sure you've read them too if you're watching the show, you're probably halfway insane, just like I am. The websites that I've read over the past, oh, I don't know, probably month and a half, have been talking about these mass arrests. And the claim is that this is why the um, all of these high-level bankers and banksters have been resigning their posts. Now, apparently that has quieted down because I haven't seen any more hair on fire, people screaming around yelling doom, uh, articles or posts on forums about any more bankers uh, quitting. If you're just joining us, we are talking about an article at divinecosmos.com by David uh, Wilcock. He is an author of, uh, let's see, Financial Tyranny. He is the author of a book called Financial Tyranny, and apparently he also has a New York Times bestseller. Right now we're talking about the mass arrests that are supposed to be occurring due to a 134-nation alliance and the Pentagon good guys, which would also tell us that there are Pentagon 
bad guys. We are set to record an interview at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Well, this is new for public release on this website within hours of this of when this first section should be posted. So that would be around 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So maybe that interview will be up shortly after the show's over. That would be great. Go over to DivineCosmos.com as soon as the show's over. Not before then because, well, we need you watching this show. I fully confirmed this man's bona fides and his testimony with one of my top insiders who I brought into the discussion. Um, insider of what? We don't know. Dozens of specific points not available in any public form were authenticated in this vetting out process. Again, apparently, this uh, person, that I am not entirely familiar with him, David Wilcock, has vetted this source. Uh, apparently, now we now know that the plan for mass arrests has been very actively in the work for at least 33 years. Holy crap, 33 years. So let me get this straight. These clowns, the ETs, the aliens that are aiding the Pentagon good guys and the 134 Nation Alliance have been hanging out for 33 years and planning these mass arrests for them. Well, hell, half the people they're going to arrest weren't even born 33 years ago. A five-inch thick briefing document was presented to our new contact in 1979 that outlined the whole plan. What the heck is going on here? A staggering wealth of irrefutable evidence is backing this plan, including over 22 18-wheeler truckloads worth of documentation that have been scanned and secured. You know, I used to run a business where I scanned documents. General Motors, their uh, pickup trucks, in all their wisdom, halfway through a model year, they changed the design of one of the bumpers in one of their pickup trucks, and thus you could not use the jack to lower down the spare tire from underneath the pickup truck bed, because that's where you store a tire in a pickup truck. There's a, there's a cable, and it goes up against the frame. Well, they couldn't lower it, so they had to have a... Uh, a uh, tool giveaway and they sent out one million postcards my job is when the people took the postcard and sent it back it, indicating they wanted a tool was to run these cards through a scanner and put them into a database make it machine readable so that an address label could be printed out and these things could go a million of these darn postcards I had to scan. Let me tell you something. That takes a long time. The average person in an eight-hour day, if you're doing uh, optical character recognition, which is uh, taking the image on a piece of paper and converting it over into text, you can do about 2,000, um, maybe 2,000 pages a day, and then it's going to take another eight hours for the software to chew on it even if you have a very fast computer. So 22 18-wheeler truckloads worth of documents that have been scanned and secured in multiple locations is an awful lot of work. So no wonder they needed 33 years. And then, well, imagine this, they just get done. Whew. Glad that's over with. We just got those 22 trucks full of uh, documents done. Now it's 33 years, years later, and here, come, here comes the next load of 22 trucks with the next 33 years' worth of information. This could go on forever. Uh, let me see. We were told in one single file box of documents like this was strong enough to bring down the former Italian government. Prosecutors demand a five-year sentence for Berskinoli. Over witness tampering, prosecutors have demanded a five-year prison sentence for Ital former Italian Premier Silvio Berlusconi and a bunch of other stuff, apparently related to these 22 truckloads of documents. Um, okay, now here's, uh, actually this is how we're going to end the show because I wanted to make this a short show because we I just did this to talk about uh, Guy Smith coming on tomorrow night. 
the people who are about to do this are very well aware of every concern you have as an informed reader of truth websites and materials. Martial law will not be declared when this happens. The military will not take control of the government. Innocent civilians will not be imprisoned or harmed in any way. Any troops who attempt to carry out unlawful orders of this sort on behalf of the bad guys will be outnumbered and resisted. So, in other words, civil war uh, with Every effort will be made to focus on eliminating the problem and immediately return the power to the people in an orderly fashion. Yeah, we saw how that worked in Egypt, eh? So, um, here's here's how I look at this. Yeah, this is all well and good. Let's say um, let's say this 135 nation alliance has uh, gone ahead and uh, swept up the bad guys. Um, who's in charge now? Or returning the government to the people in a timely fashion. What's that? Five years? Ten years? Six months? How about this? If you're going to do this, the time that you return the government to the people is immediately, forthwith, within the hour. Just pick some guy on the street and say, hey, you're in charge until uh, somebody better comes along. I mean, good Lord. Come on, give me a break. Um... Any troops who would, uh, every effort will be made to focus on eliminating the problem and immediately returning the power to the people in an orderly fashion. That right there makes me nervous, folks. That statement right there, if any of this is true in the first case. Um, you're going to want to go over to this fellow's website. It is divinecosmos.com. Divinecosmos.com. Com and uh, read this article. It's called Divine Intervention, Section 1, Defeating the Financial Tyranny. So, at any rate, that's about it for tonight. I am going to go and, um, I don't know, I suppose I'm just going to swell down some adult beverages for the next hour or so and then go to bed. However, I do have more of this incredibly, incredibly entertaining book, Shooting the Bull, to read. Let's see... Um, let me see. Fear drives. Here's some more from the book. Um, fear drives all animals, including the untamed voter. Thus, fear drives most political action. And uh, let me see what else. Um, oh, there, there's so much stuff in this book that I could read. I could spend the rest of the night reading, reading from this guy's book. This is um, uh, this is a knee slapping good rollicking reading i love this book it's great and uh it also mentions my favorite fellow michigan resident, the rotund michael moore who we're going to be talking about tomorrow night so if the uh anybody happens to know the uh whereabouts of the uh local michigan resident fat ass michael moore tell him to tune in tomorrow night because we're going to be talking about his fat butt at any rate, I see now that we're getting ready to end the show, we've got uh, <laughs> a house full of viewers. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so now what do I do? Do I keep talking or what? Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, I see we got a uh, house full of viewers watching now. <laughs> That's great. How are you guys doing? The show's over. Thanks for showing up. Be sure to show up tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern, with our special guest, Guy Smith, Second Amendment expert. And we're going to be talking about uh, guns and shooting stuff and things like that. You know, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll have target practice on the show. Who the heck knows? At any rate, thanks for showing up. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. This, of course, will be up on YouTube shortly. And uh, it'll start uh, repeating over there on the uh, live stream there. You see over there, right there. That's the, uh, right there, that's the uh, monitor for the uh, video server, and it's going to be streaming right on there very shortly. Thanks for showing up. really appreciate it. Um, sorry you showed up so late. 7 o'clock tomorrow night, Eastern. 7 p.m. Eastern will be uh, on the air again live. Who knows? Might even start earlier, go longer. Who knows? It's going to be a great show tomorrow night. 
Well, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for showing up and uh, watching the show. Abbreviated though it was, this will be up on YouTube shortly. Night, night.